Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Banished. Look at those crops coming in. Yep, there goes the, uh, oh, this is the vendor. Oh, the old woman! The old woman who was running around gathering stuff died. That's sad. Kind of. Cemetery's not done, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna mourn her. Probably don't really need a cemetery. Looks like the school can support 20 students, so we gotta pay attention to that. We might need a second one soon. Might even make sense just to get a second one now, just to not forget. Schoolhouse. Please tell me it fits. It doesn't fit. Damn. Of course not, that'd make things too easy. Yep, they're definitely doing what we th what I what I said they were doing in the previous video or two. Because I designated all this stuff, this is just what they're doing. The laborers will like it's a it's a whatever jobs are assigned first take priority. There is no apparent priority on building or anything else. It's just you know, do the jobs in the order that they were assigned. So in the interest of actually getting some things done, let's undesignate. And let them, like, actually clear a single tree here. And now these things should get done, like, right away. Wow, we're actually at the cap. Wow, we have a lot of, a lot of firewood. Let's make more. More firewood. <laughs> Never run out of firewood. <laughs> That's what we export. We're a logging industry. Definitely turning into a pretty bustling town. Hey, we have some homeless. Sorry, peoples. We're upgrading your town your your houses to make them better. Like this thing's getting done now. Yep, see, immediately now things are done. Cemetery's almost done. Chapel's done. Almost done. Schoolhouse is almost done. Like they just. So we just have to understand that that's how it works. You know, if we have too much stuff designated for removal, then they won't be very effective for a while. So if I could do it over again, I would do it differently. Still no plums. Does having more people tending to it make a difference, I wonder? Peaches and plums. Hey, merchant. Let's actually start storing 1250. And I guess the herbs don't really make any sense, do they? Ah, but we'll put 500 there just for fun. All right, you have brought a mixture of foods, which we will take, except for the potatoes. 666, 666. We don't need the fish either, but we'll take the eggs. Eggs for firewood. Oh, the value of firewood has gone down. Is that because I've sold too much of it? Possibly. That or they just don't like it. Oh, and this guy will buy herbs. Fantastic. That's fine. 
We'll take some diversity in our foods. 98 members of the chapel. So this, I guess, uh, the chapel, if I'm not mistaken, makes people happier somehow. Provides happiness for the devout and a place to meet and worship. Okay. So our people should be very happy now. We are a paradise. More foresters. Oh, we need another teacher. Actually, we don't need another teacher, but... <laughs> so I just started a new... I opened up a competing school with a new teacher, and it caused the other teacher to die. <laughs> She's, no, I've been replaced! <laughs> Died of old age. That's funny. Funny, funny, funny. And the physician, who just got their job, is now dead. Um, wherever the hospital is, no patients. Maybe the hospital prevents people from dying in the stone, like in the quarry. I want, I just always want more. More stuff. Kind of, oh, god damn, we're losing lots of people. Out of ten laborers. And lots of food. So, if I stop food, then they become laborers, right? I feel like it's a waste, and the food doesn't seem to be perishable, so... 20 million food storage limit. Build. It's not actually 20 million, but it's 200,000. It's a lot. And since they've done all the things that I wanted them to do... Um, oh, we're out of coal. It would be nice to have two mines. One for each resource type. Just finding the uh, proper placement is kind of tricky. I almost, I almost did it like by accident before, apparently. Just build another one here. Ah! Look at that, we can. How convenient. Mine number two. I feel like it's probably about time for you guys to get an upgraded road. A little bit of dirt there. Low on stone. That hasn't happened in a while. Well, if we get some more laborers, um, the farmer thing is just we have so many. Storage for produced goods is near capacity. Ah, so apparently we have too much stuff. 99% full. We have too much food. We kind of need to stop making food, don't we? Our ability to produce food has, like, skyrocketed since we got access to food. Plants and stuff. Alright, well, I guess we lower the food limit and say... Alright, so we want 14,000 food at most. Let's just see what they do when they don't need to make food. Just let it spoil? And we already have, we have two... Wait a minute, what? Oh, that was all the fish, okay. I thought that was saying we had 20,000 firewood. We do have a lot of firewood, but not 20,000. So what do we do to make the town grow faster? More homes, right? 
So Yep, we're full up on stuff. Let's build like a crazy, crazy city over here. First things first, remove all the things. Although I don't really need to do that. They would have done it on their own anyway. Let's not do that. That's going to make the laborers not do their job when I need them to. Alright, so let's build a market. First. And then immediately around the market I want Stone Road. And I guess we should start with that. And then do we build some houses immediately next to it? Do the houses go right next to it, or do the the jobs go right next to it, and then the houses behind them? No, I think it makes more sense. Houses right next to the market, jobs next to it. That way, if a house is here, they go to the market for materials, and they go to their job right next to it. That'll work fine. So, let's build some stone houses. Like, lots of them. Let's see how many can fit. Oh, that is sexy. Sexy, it fit. Oh, it's beautiful. This is going to be the breeding village. <laughs> this is where young people are sent to procreate. Go make babies. a camp for them. Just go and breed. I'm telling you. I might even make it like a double layer of homes. Yes. Go, my people. Work. <laughs> this is like all the people in the whole city. <laughs> all of the all the fishermen, all the hunters, the herbalists, like, or, or the uh, gatherers, everyone's like, well, we have too much food. Go. <laughs> it's just work. Oh, that is, that is funny, funny. Um, apparently it's faster for them to go up that hill. I guess... Oh, you know what we could do? I have an idea. We haven't done this yet. Let's uh, cancel the... Remove the designation. Or remove the road, whatever. And let's build a... Tunnel. Yeah. Dig a tunnel. Tiny little tunnel through the tiny little hill. work. Come on. Build it. Actually, really low on stone. Okay, well, I guess we scale back on a farmer or two and then get some more stone workers. Oh, I mean, these are all stone houses, so it doesn't surprise me that we're going to be out of material. We're going to be out of everything. This is going to be a big project. But hopefully the builders will start living here once a couple of the houses are done. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, the orchards have yield. We got some peaches last season. 
and 540 plums last season. My god. <coughs> That's a lot of plums. Oh, was there th somebody here? Chestnuts. I didn't get I didn't see the pop-up. Oh, it just popped up. Okay. 625 or 1. Thank you, chestnuts. That's uh orchard. Yes. Do we have an orchard down here? Oh, spare pasture. I guess we don't really need this pasture, do we? Let's go. Apparently that needs to be demolished. It can't just be removed. Yeah, I guess we make these all like an orchardy area. No citizens are available to work the orchard. Oh, one, two, three, four. It's it's appointing them where they need to be. I'm I'm sure that when this one's done, they'll maybe send another one. What if I do that? No, nope, it's under the it's under there. They really want to work the corn for some reason. I guess we need another orchard, another uh, another farmer. There we go. Plant them chestnuts. Come on, builders, build work all the removal got done fairly quickly but now we're gonna be struggling to get materials here so let's start um, clear-cutting some of the stuff ourselves and let's also place a stockpile temporarily to like put all that crap so they just bring it there and then the builders can put it there. <laughs> they, they drop it off here and it teleports down there. That's funny. Lots of food. I'm worried they're not going to harvest all this food because we just have too much. I guess... I'm going to temporarily bump this up because I want some of those... I want some or you know, some plums and peaches, man. Why are you bringing firewood out here? That's insane. Oh, that's overflow from our firewood production. No, it's not. We have plenty of storage space here for firewood. Don't bring the firewood out here. That's dumb. Hmm... Just put, like, all the firewood here. 5,000 firewood. No trees. Yeah, we're out of stuff. I'm, yeah, that's a pretty ambitious undertaking. But the market's on the way. And all that it takes is a house or two to get this thing, like, to start really getting the builders that, that need to build out here. And uh, the market will also store a lot of the excess food that we're about to pick up. Because this market is uh, it's pretty full up on stuff. Warm coats. Okay, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.